Yes? Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Look, the door's burning. Now, come on. Look, there's nothing more we can do here now. Come on! A simulated situation, it is true, but it should make you think. Do you know how to operate your fire extinguishers? And if confronted with a fire, would you or your staff know which extinguishers to use? Are your staff trained in their use? Do all your extinguishers operate in the same way? Do they enjoy the advantages of this chub range of fire extinguishers? In use, they are simplicity itself. Since all are fitted with new style controllable discharge heads, the operating principle is the same in each case. Just seize the right extinguisher, pull out the pin, and squeeze. In other words, you simply squeeze that fire out. The spread of fire can be rapid and intense, as this demonstration will show. Tea chests containing wood shavings and paper were lit and allowed to burn for 30 seconds. At this stage, they represent a typical fire hazard, but one capable of being dealt with by a hand extinguisher if it is operated quickly and knowledgeably. The seconds tick away, 28, 29, 30. At this point, the fire is extinguished by a water fire extinguisher, and although the burning period was short, the fire penetrated well into the packing. Yet this blaze was quickly extinguished with just two gallons of water, and in a factual situation, would have successfully prevented the development of a much larger fire. At such times, when every second counts, there must be no doubting the way the extinguisher operates or the speed with which it can be brought into action. The performance of this range of extinguishers remains unquestioned. Behind every model, there stands the expertise of Chubb Fire, which includes the amalgamated manufacturing and technical skills of Pyrene, Minimax and Reed and Campbell. Selected by the Design Council for inclusion in the Design Index and winner of the Design Council Award for 1976, there is a Chubb fire extinguisher to deal with every first aid firefighting risk in industry and commerce. As for example, in hotels, such as here at the St. James's Hotel in London, where it is necessary to maintain protection for guests, staff and property at all times and in every situation. This diagram illustrates some of the fire extinguishers which are available to cover fire risks in small hotels and guest houses. It includes BCF and powder extinguishers in garages and boiler rooms. Powder extinguishers, fire blankets and foam extinguishers in kitchens where there could be fires involving cooking fats and oils and water extinguishers in the hallways and on landings. Similar protection is tremendously important in schools and the fire protection scheme in operation at St. David's School, Ashford provides for CO2 extinguishers in the new school laboratories. These are sited well within easy reach as are the water extinguishers in the classrooms. Here they are freestanding similar to others positioned throughout the school at particular points of assembly although these two could have been wall mounted if preferred using the hooks and fittings provided. In hospitals too, first aid fire protection to cover the risks involved is absolutely essential, as here at Westminster, especially in those areas where electrical equipment is in use. Being colour-coded, the different extinguishers are easily identified. In general, water extinguishers are recognisable by their red containers. Those which contain foam are cream, Powder extinguishers are blue, CO2 extinguishers are black, and usually green containers for vaporizing liquids, such as BCF. The main classifications of fire are as easily remembered. To fight Class A fires, those involving wood, textiles, fabrics, etc., 
the most effective extinguishing agent is water, using a water extinguisher such as this. For tackling Class B fires, those involving flammable liquids, the ideal firefighting medium is foam. This gives permanent sealing and easier fire control. To fight B and C class fires, and those involving electrical hazards, the extinguisher to use is CO2, carbon dioxide gas. This smothers fire quickly and cleanly. For electrical fires, for vehicle protection, and for fires in the three main categories, the firefighting agent is all-purpose powder. Fast-acting powder is eminently suitable for use when dealing with fires in high-risk areas. Finally, and for use against every classification of fire except Class A fires, there is BCF vaporizing liquid. This medium provides instantaneous firefighting action, yet it is harmless to delicate materials and machinery. The sizes of the extinguishers in the range vary according to the risk they cover, as does the media and the methods of charging. But all Chubb fire extinguishers are now fitted with this simple operating head with positive discharge control, including extinguishers of the stored pressure type. These have a gauge set into the operating head which gives a visual indication of the working pressure of the unit. On the other hand, gas-operated extinguishers provide a discharge under pressure from a CO2 gas cartridge. These are fitted within the container and after use the spent cartridge can be quickly removed and a new one fitted. As can be seen, the whole of the recharging operation is simplicity itself. Armed with the knowledge of the various extinguishers and the simple seize and squeeze routine, how simpler would have been the reactions of the office staff we saw in our earlier sequence? Good lad. Here you are, Joyce. Here you fall. Right, thanks. Blimey! Now we see the difference. Fire! There is the extinguisher, freestanding and ready to hand. Out comes the pin. Point the nozzle at the base of fire and squeeze. A simple but effective operating principle that can be remembered in three words. Seize and squeeze. A unique routine which brings a new understanding to the vital role which ordinary men and women can play in any scheme of first aid fire protection. Chubb. The experts in fire protection.